Are you thinking about learning how to code but don't know where to start? I mean, there are a ton of different resources. It's almost overwhelming. So if you are in that position and you're slightly confused about where to start, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Masha and on this channel, I talk about all things career, personal development, career growth, career in tech, and of course, sharing stories of women in tech. So today I want to talk about your journey into tech and in particular, where do you start learning how to code? How do you approach this subject? And the way I would recommend anyone to do it is to ask yourself the following questions. The first one being, why are you learning how to code? What is your goal with learning how to code, right? What do you want to achieve? And I categorize those types of goals and whys into three main categories. So the first category is if you want to code professionally. So, you know, like this is a major career change for you. For example, you want to switch from the art industry into the, the tech industry and you want to start coding professionally. Or maybe you want to learn how to code and, you know, to create a company like web design or something like that. And you want to be coding professionally, you know, in direct exchange for money, if that makes sense. The second category is if you want to learn how to code to add some skills to your resume, to become a more employable professional, to stand out from the crowd, from your competition. That's actually how I ended up learning how to code and started this blog uh, because I have a background in marketing and as a recent marketing grad, it was very hard to stand out from competition at the time um, without anything else, you know, anything special. And I thought that adding coding skills would really elevate my resume and make me stand out from the crowd. And it did actually, but you know, the rest is history, but this is the second category. If you are thinking about adding certain skills that will not necessarily be, you will not be coding professionally in exchange for money, but these are the skills that will enhance your skill set. And finally, the third category that I see is, you know, if you're just curious about learning how to code, if you want to understand how things work, because you don't have to learn this skill to be, to become a professional. For example, I paint in my free time or I cook in my free time and I really enjoy those things and I like to Im improve my skills in those areas, but I'm not trying to do it professionally. So this is also an option and you know, like, it's, it's fine to have that as a hobby. Like th that's what it is for me right now. But basically think about your why. Why are you trying to learn how to code? That's step number one. And if your reason why you want to learn how to code isn't in one of those categories that I've listed, please let me know in the comments because I'm super curious about, you know, why are you learning how to code? Um, I can see like those three major ways, but if you have another one that is, doesn't fit any of those buckets, let me know. Super curious. So the second step or the second question that I want you to ask yourself is what are you hoping to be able to build as a result of learning how to code? This is when you've already figured out your why and like, what is your goal with learning how to code? Are you going to go into the field professionally or is it, you know, more of a hobby kind of thing? Once you figure that out, what are you trying to build? So really think about it because different fields uh, require different skill sets. And by answering this question, you'll be able to understand what it is that you need to learn. So really think about it. What are you trying to do? Are you interested in, I don't know, artificial intelligence, augmented reality? Maybe you're interested in robotics or and programming, you know, machines or maybe you're interested in cybersecurity, maybe you're interested in, I don't know, web development or backend. Really do some research and figure out what it is, what is it called that you want to be able to do, what you want to be able to build or understand or anything like that. What is it that interests you in technology that you want to be working with? So step number three is doing your research and answering the question of, what it is that you want to learn. What programming languages do you want to, or do you need to learn to be in the area that you want to get into? What frameworks do you need to understand or, you know, have a proficiency in when it comes to those things? So once you understand what it is that you want to build or understand, that will 
trickle into what it is that you want to learn. Because as I said, a lot of the times you will need specific skills to get into specific areas. For example, if you want to be in data science, Python might be a choice for you, right? It has its pluses and minuses and, you know, maybe you want to learn R or something like that. Or for example, if you want to do front end, you need to learn HTML, CSS and JavaScript, right? And have an understanding and practice those things because that's the, those are the tools that are used to do front end. All right, so now that you've done all of that research and all of that thinking for the first three parts, you have made so much progress. You understand what is your goal when learning how to code. You understand what it is that you want to build and go into, like what is the tech direction that you're trying to take. And finally, what languages, what frameworks, what technologies do you need to be proficient in when it comes to those things? So now it is time to find a programming course or a bootcamp or whatever, like a method that fits your learning needs the best. So the fourth question that I want to reflect on, that I want you to reflect on is what is your learning style? How do you learn best? Are you a visual learner? Are you an experiential learner? Or maybe do you learn by listening to things? Another other things to consider is what motivates you to learn. And that can be social pressure when you're together in a community and like you're kind of I guess like there's an element of gamification, like you want to rank higher than your peers. Maybe it's, you know, if you've paid for a course or not, because for me, for example, I'm a perfect example of that. If I haven't paid for a course, I will start it, but then I will not continue with it. But if I've paid for something, I will continue with it. So consider all of those factors, basically what makes you learn best and what motivates you to learn, because those are very important things. Learning how to code takes time and practice and, you know, the same concepts can be explained in different ways. And because we're all different, we understand things differently. So it's very important to understand what method would work best for you and also, you know, find supplementary uh, ways to learn. So for example, if you do decide on a boot camp that works for you, then, you know, like if you get stuck on a certain concept, find YouTube videos or find other tutorials online that are available out, out there for you. All that it takes is really Googling them and finding what works best, but going into this experience, understanding what, what methods, what um, mediums are the best for your learning, for your education and growth, that will help you infinitely when it comes to being honest with yourself and not, you know, beating yourself over not understanding a concept because it is presented in a way X, but a way Y works best for you. I've also created a quick quiz that will help you understand your learning style better and figure out what types of courses, what types of uh, mediums, what types of, you know, learning materials would work best for you in that situation. So if you are interested in doing that quiz, I will leave a link to it in the description and also in one of those corners. I've also compiled a list of free coding resources, which you can get using the link in the description and also in one of those corners. It has a ton of different resources that you can filter by the different features um, and find the one that works best for you at this moment on your learning journey and with your learning style. Again, the link will be in the description. Let me know what you thought about this methodology and whether this video was useful for you. Also, what are you learning and why are you learning how to code? I'm super curious to find out. So again, leave that all in the comments. Like this video if you've enjoyed it and share it with a friend who is also learning how to code or thinking about learning how to code, but doesn't know where to start because let's be honest, it's overwhelming. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and we can also be friends on other social media. You can find me as Coding Blonde. Have a wonderful time today you're currently experiencing. Bye.